I want to talk about Chelsea Handler because uh, she's trending right now, which is what she wanted. <laughs> this was so yesterday. I played this when I had um, a podcast. God, I forget who even I was talking to. <laughs> Actually, no, this was uh, six days ago. She posted this. Chelsea Handler, just another day. So here's Chelsea Handler posting her video of, if you guys haven't seen it, this is what the internet is making a fuss about right now, is Chelsea Handler, a millionaire, a feminist millionaire who's a child-free woman, who's, like, doing fine, by the way, and, like, not hurting anybody. Like, if people don't find her funny. Who fucking cares? But it's like, she's not hurting anybody. Uh, let her live her single child-free life. Anyway, so here's the... Here's the video she posted. This is a day in the life of a childless woman. I wake up at 6 a.m. I remember that I have no kids to take to school, so I take an edible, masturbate. Oh, this was on The Daily Show. Okay, okay. And go back to sleep. I wake up at 12.30 p.m. and get ready That's for a so busy late. day of... By the way, this was, this was my schedule when I was unemployed, like waking up afternoon and masturbating. I'm like, doesn't she have business meetings? Isn't she a businesswoman? Like, doesn't she, like... Isn't she a boss? I know she's trying to be funny, but I'm just like, oh, so far this seems like an unemployed schedule. Doing whatever the f I feel like. I put on my most impractical and stylish shoes since I won't be chasing a child around the grocery store. I go to my fave spot in Paris to grab a croissant. I do a meditation sesh on the plane since I have no screaming kids, allowing me all the time in the world to become enlightened. The weightlessness of my existence has granted me superhuman powers. I teleport myself back home. This, this is a like, day in the... This, oopsie, this is like, this is silly and a little cringy, but like... Around the grocery whatever. store. I go to my fave spot in Paris to grab a croissant. I do a meditation sesh on the plane since I have no screaming kids, allowing me all the time in the world to become enlightened. The weightlessness of my existence has granted me superhuman powers. I teleport myself back home. Then I get ready for a night out with whatever hot guy I met on Raya that morning. If you're a single guy please, and you live in the Los Angeles area, please log on to Raya and see if you can match with Chelsea Handler. That would make me so happy. Like, guys, shoot your shot, clearly. Like, she's telling you what app she's on. She's DTF. Morning. I call up a babysitter and tell her that I don't need her since I still don't have kids. Now it's time for a workout, so I hit Mount Everest for a quick climb. I invent a time machine, go back in time, and kill Hitler. Freeze, you bastard! It's amazing what you can do when you have this much free time. And that's a day in the life of a childless woman. Okay, anyway, the internet's upset about this. I even tweeted, what, yesterday about this. I'm like, oh, you're gonna die alone. Like, I too was making a joke, like... Uh, I lay dying in my hospice bed because I realized Hollywood is fake and I have no children, right? But it's like, clearly Chelsea Handler is, not only is she fine, but she's like, she's more than fine. And here's the thing is like, being a feminist works out great when you're a millionaire. In fact, millionaire, like millionaire women are the only women who should be feminists because they're the only ones who can afford to be feminists. Like, she doesn't really need a husband. Like, she clearly like fucks whoever she wants she doesn't need a man for for financial support she she's good uh i don't think we should worry about chelsea handler and she's clearly doing this to piss off conservatives and she she did it everybody fell into her trap <laughs> um i bought one but still okay this is something else and i wonder if this was her response to the outrage about her her clip about being childless. Oh, hello. It's me, Chelsea Handler, cis white female, chilling in my trans friendly bathroom. Because I'm trans friendly, my bathroom is. Why is she a millionaire? Why, does, why can't she afford to like put a microphone on her? And like, why do we have to hear your echoey ass bathroom? Like, I'm always so shocked when I see celebrities have like no podcasting setup, no equipment, like no sense of what they need to do to look and sound good on camera. I'm always shocked by this. It's open to anyone. Okay, so this is not about her response to her childless video. Uh, thanks for watching, Ben Shapiro. I haven't bothered to watch any of your clips, but you sound like a real asshole. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so here is... A day in the 
uh, Chelsea's response 12 hours ago. I guess Tucker Carlson talked about it because it's so easy. It is so Chelsea Handler is very easy to make fun of. I get it. She's like the stereotypical single childless woman. But like, honestly, Chelsea's the one having the last laugh. She's rich, bitch. Like she doesn't. And she is literally doing this to get precisely <laughs> this group of people pissed off in talking about her. Like if you're talking about Chelsea, Chelsea Handler, she's one. She's a comedian. We can't be expecting uh, female comedians to be the like the the trad the trad wife dream. You know what I mean? Like women who who pursue comedy are not looking to they're not looking for that traditional path to begin with because as people know, you have to sink at least 10 years into pursuing stand-up comedy for, for anything to begin to pay off. And honestly, I would say now that you don't even need 10 years with, with like uh, social media platforms, like you could go viral in in a very small amount of time and, uh, and get a career going. So I would say, you, the, but it used to be for stand-up, like the craft of perfecting stand-up, you need 10 years. And guess what most women want to do with 10 years when they're in their 20s? They want to find a man and settle down. Most women do not want to pursue stand-up comedy, which is why there are fewer women in comedy. People go, oh, well, then, uh, so many men, it's male dominated. It's because like women don't want to do this. <laughs> women don't want to do road gigs. Women don't want to stay in shitty hotels women don't want to like live with multiple roommates in brooklyn you know going to open mics for 10 years praying that the right person sees them and and gets them a late night spot on colbert or something uh so chelsea is she's joking around she wants attention she is a comedian still remember whether you like her or not it's like She's doing what she wants. And like, thank God we live in America and Chelsea has been able to pursue this path and climb the ranks and get to the level where she's at now. Like, good for her. Isn't that what we love about this country is that like anybody can become anything they want if they work hard enough. Um, but here is <clears throat> the response to Chelsea's video. A day in the life of a childless <laughs> woman. The point is to make you feel good about being in aging, deeply unlikable woman who never had kids. I hate when men, men's like, oh, you're aging. Everybody is aging. Literally, if you're watching this right now and you're alive, you're aging. Tucker, you're, I love Tucker, but he's aging. I don't know. I just think it's annoying when people go, oh, you're aging. Kid. Feminists like Chelsea Handler, they've been lied to by their society forever. Yeah. That you could be a girl boss and you can do anything a man can do, which everyone who's ever seen a woman back up a vehicle knows that's not true. That's actually really funny. Um, <clears throat> no, Chelsea's doing great. And I mentioned in my tweet, like, let's leave Chelsea alone because who we should feel bad for are the female comics who who haven't made it, who are not going to make it, who live in Brooklyn with multiple roommates. They're single, they're childless, and they're going to die and be eaten by their cats. Like, that's who we should feel for because uh, that they're they, these women slip through the cracks. And you know what? Maybe Chelsea could could set up some kind of uh, <clears throat> scholarship for like sad single female comics that are feminists because yes, feminism is kind of uh, a trap and it, there is a fair amount of brainwashing going on that that can lead you down an unhappy laugh life. But again, if you're a millionaire, if your show or podcast or whatever takes off, <clears throat> uh. Like, you're okay. It's, it's almost like money makes you ex exempt from needing a man, uh, which is clearly where Chelsea is. And she's clearly happy without it. So the judgment from Jesse Kelly or Tucker Carlson isn't going to make her be like, oh, my God, what have I done? I really should settle down. No, she's rich. Like, she doesn't care. She just wants to trend on Twitter, and she's done that. Who I do worry for are the are the women who are fans of Chelsea Hel Handler who don't have money like she has and resources like she has and they go oh yeah that looks so glamorous but they have but they're fucking broke and they can't do shit and they they don't have the money to either get their own career going or they just they're not going to meet a man who's going to help support them so like that's who we should feel for 
Your womb resembles a dried up tumbleweed blowing down an old Western town and your Valentine's Day date for the 10th year in a row. And like women who don't want to have kids don't care about the status of their womb like that. That's very much a, a dude take because guys largely value women. It's biological. It's not their fault. But men mostly value women based on their youth and beauty and how sort of fertile they look. So that like this is not the uh, making fun of. Chelsea Handler's dry womb is like not going to have an effect because she knows it's dry. Is a 10 year old copy of Magic Mike and a half full bottle of Xanax. This lady is miserable. I mean, she is miserable and it's written all over her face. How mis So even, even if she is miserable, like who cares? Like who cares? <laughs> How is that every, I mean, clearly it's my business. I'm making it my business too. Here I am talking about it, but, um, I just feel like conservatives waste a lot of time trying to convince people to not want things that they want instead of promoting things that they themselves want, instead of uplifting what they consider to be good values. Miserable she is. Hey, everyone. I woke up this morning, well, more like this afternoon, and noticed that there was an emergency meeting of the receding hairline society. To oh, no. Did Tim Poole comment on it? I hate that everyone always uses this picture of him. Oh. Hey, and that's fair. They took a dig at her dried um, womb, so she's going to take a dig at, at their signs of aging. To discuss a comedy video I filmed about not wanting kids. Wow. Why would I even need my own children when I get to hear these crybabies all the time? I mean, I can't believe that bearded version of Tucker Carlson thinks I would take a half a bottle of Xanax. I take way more than that, you silly goose. Look, I don't want to debate whether or not I'm a girl boss, although I did just look at my bank account and think that's pretty girl boss. And then I thought about the 10 different people, plus 10 plus different people I've been able to put through college. That's actually really cool. I was really happy to hear her say that because clearly Chelsea like has chosen not to have kids. I, I believe she's had like a, a several abortions. Like she clearly did not want to have kids, but I like hearing that she helped uh, put some people through college. I don't know if she's talking about her employees or like nieces or nephews or whatever, but you know, just because you don't have kids doesn't mean you can't positively help to shape the next generation. And clearly she's doing that by, I mean, you know, college might also be a total fucking waste of money and uh, an indoctrination camp, but she's, you know, there's a good deed there. And what about all the people who can't have kids who really wanted to have kids? Um, they should not be shamed for, for their situation. And then I remembered my six New York Times bestselling books. Or was it five? Oh, no, 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 it was six. And then I remember my recent stand-up special that was just released on Netflix called Revolution. And I thought, yeah, you are a girl boss. You guys seemed so triggered by me. I mean, my goodness, Tucker, I think it is time for you to ask yourself a serious question. Are you really mm -hmm. upset about how much freedom I have? Or are you upset that you haven't been able to take it away from me yet? Oh, this is like, I hate this. This is the uh, the icky leftist take that she has. Oh, that Tucker Carlson wants to take. I, I hate this stupid notion that some of these liberal women think that like men just want to take their rights away. It's so stupid. I, I think um, underneath it all, like, you know, you listen to Shapiro or Tucker or Matt Walsh. And they seem very preachy and they're like like dads yelling at their daughters like, you're not making the right choices. You're going to regret this. Da, da, da. I think underneath all that yelling and preachiness from men on the right is honestly a, like a concern. I think like men have this deep, uh, some men have a deep desire to kind of like take care of women and take care of a family and and really help. I think men really do thrive when they're helping others. Whereas I feel like some women really thrive when they're caring or showing empathy for others, uh, like nurturing, right? So I think when these conservative men like go off on somebody like Chelsea Handler, I think it's like deep down, they want to feel like they're helping her. But it's like, because they, they see this woman that they believe has gone off path. 
and they want to help get you get her on the right path. But it's like she's too old. It's too she's clearly chosen her path. She's very happy and content with her path. Uh, I, I think it's easy to pick on her because it's what she represents in society, and it's the model, it's the example that she's showing for other women, and they're probably afraid like other women will look to her and think that that's the way to go, and then they'll end up Chelsea's age and not be as rich as her and not feel as fulfilled as her and have deep regrets, but then like no accomplishments either. They'll be, uh, I think a lot of women are staying in jobs that they hate. It's like sucking the best years out of their life. And they're not, they, they probably want to. The, the sad thing is when a woman does want to get married and have kids and she can't because she's stuck in a dead end job or tricked by feminism. But like Chelsea's owning this, she's thriving, she's rich. But I fucking, I can't stand this dumb, when women say, oh, you're you're upset that you haven't been able to take my rights away. Like, Tucker Carlson does not want to take anybody's rights away. I think he's just concerned that, like, you are uh, possibly leading women astray. But you know what? If you're a woman who can be led astray by Chelsea Handler, then it was probably very easy to lead you in the first place. But again, I think that comes from a man's kind of like protective urge. Like, rah, you're leading women astray. Um, every, I think, and Chelsea's even like, yeah, hey, you can be happy without kids. I mean, it's much easier to be happy without kids when you're a millionaire. Uh, she's got, I'm sure, tons of friends. And, you know, she's not going to die alone. The nurses will be there. Okay. She's going to be able to hire a lot of help. So she'll be fine. But nobody wants to take away. I mean, maybe maybe John Doyle is the only guy that wants to take, take away women's rights. But most conservative men don't. Are like, happy to have you keep voting. Like, it's like they want abortions to be safe, legal, and rare. Uh, they don't like it when you're gloating about your abortions, which is why Chelsea Handler had pissed off these men to begin with. But nobody wants to take away your rights, girl. But this is like when she says something like this, it it triggers women and it it triggers women into like this fear state, like, <gasps> Men are trying to, men like my, like Tucker, like Jesse, like Ben Shapiro are trying to take away my, my rights. Oh, fuck them. I'm on Chelsea's side. And it's like, you shouldn't really be trying to trigger people out of fear. Are you upset that you haven't been able to take it away from me yet? Oh, and quick shout out to Ben Shapiro. Thank you for helping my cause of not having children. Who? How is that? Oh, okay. Who needs the birth control pill when your voice is 100% effective? Wah, wah. <laughs> You know, it'd be a funnier joke if she says, who needs the pill when my personality is 100% effective? Because I always think it's better to go self-deprecating. I think that's even a joke that I've told over the years. I don't need a husband, Ben, because I'm in a relationship with myself. And it That does sound very sad. I'm in a relationship with myself. Guess who's also in a relationship with themselves? Everybody. At least in my relationship, someone can get a woman to come. Uh, that's funny. That's probably the best joke of this video. And by all means, Tucker, if you want to respond to my triggers, I will be happy to keep putting out videos as long as you want. I think we both know that you are hate masturbating to me. I wish that this was coming off more genuine, this video, instead of like, it seems kind of performative. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not seeing like vulnerable, honest Chelsea. I, she's clearly feeling like defensive and I wish she didn't have to feel defensive because she fucking live your life, girl. Hey. And I'm down with that. I wonder how many takes it took her to do that. Any questions at The Daily Show? What is she working with The Daily Show? Maybe she just was promoting her new special there. Um, mm -mm. If you don't want... Okay, this is some of the comments from Jessica O'Donnell. If you don't want kids, that's fine. But don't pretend as if a woman wasn't designed to marry, be fruitful, and multiply. Living out our intended purposes is the most fulfilling thing we can do. Selling women a lie that sleeping around is fulfilling is gross. And this is, I think, where the concern comes from. It's not that anybody wants to tell Chelsea Handler what to do or you, you can't change her mind. It is this selling of this lie that feminism perpetuates. And women like Chelsea Handler uh, glamorize. 
And like being mad at Chelsea Handler for not settling down and having kids is like being mad at Leonardo DiCaprio for not settling down and having kids. Um, th th these celebrities don't have to. They're rich enough that they don't have to do shit <laughs> that they don't want to. And they're fine. Uh, do these revolting men stop for a split second to consider that whilst many of us are happy with our decisions to not have children, some women are heartbroken about their inability to conceive and their disgusting takes hurt those women? No, I don't think those takes hurt those women because they're not directed at, at women who can't conceive. They're directed at literally just Chelsea. There's definitely a culture war with the nuclear family crowd and the, and the pro-abortion crowd. Yeah, that's true. To me, it just seems like an evolution of that battle. We don't want young women making the same mistake that you did. It's too late for you, but don't lead other women to give up the joy of holding their newborn for the first time. And here's the thing is like when conservatives complain about the influence that women like Chelsea Handler have over the next generation of women, it's like, okay, you're not going to stop Chelsea Handler from having influence. So why don't you make your influence louder? Uh, why don't we just focus on promoting the values that we want to uphold instead of being like, ah, oh, don't look over there. Don't look at her. <laughs> Cause it's going to be hard to make the case that Chelsea Handler's not doing, doing great. Like women look at her and go, Oh, she's fucking rich and having a, she lives in a huge, gorgeous house. She's traveling all the time. That's what a lot of young women want. But what young women don't realize is like, they're probably not going to become millionaires like Chelsea Handler. So it might help to have that support system in the form of a husband and their family and then your family. And then that's how we can, we can grow that way. <laughs> most common causes of vaginal dryness. And then of course they pick all the most unflattering photos of these people. <laughs> girl boss indeed. Not everyone can be a girl boss though. That is, that's where women, uh, get led astray. You're not going to become a girl boss wa working nine to five as, as a secretary, you know, <laughs> like it's just, I think, I don't know. I'd rather hear Chelsea talking about like, he, like here's how to start your own business. Here's like tips on how, if you really don't want to have a man and settle down, like, okay, here's tips how you can make more than enough money where you is, you won't need a partner. like help people in that way. But I'm sure she, she is. I heard her say that she put a few people through college, but again, what did they major in? <laughs> are they psych majors or did they, are they majoring in like, you know, a trade or something? Okay. I'm going to go to these super chats. I don't think anyone is pissed that Chelsea Handler made it and doesn't have kids. And I see so many comments like, yeah, we're happy you didn't have kids, Chelsea. Like we don't, we're happy you didn't pass your genes down. I, yeah, let's feel, let's feel bad for all the women who sunk, uh, like a decade plus into stand up and nothing came of it. That's, that's who we should feel for. Okay, let's go to your super chats. Matthew Hammond, I thought I could not care less about a person with Eliza. And then you brought up Chelsea Handler. How many takes and drinks did it take to complete, uh, to complete, right? She's like, let me do that again, but seem sassier. <laughs> but good for her. Like whatever. I'm sure she's, let me see if she's promoting a tour right now. That would be smart. She's got a special or a tour or a book out right now. That would explain a lot. Yep. She does. She's got dates. She's got dates all through April and May and June. So now what we've all done is helped <laughs> to promote her dates. So now all this, all the single childless women can now go to her shows. Cause that's what Chelsea is selling. Like she is selling, that's her, her brand is embracing the child free lifestyle, the brunch lifestyle, you know, that's what she, everyone is selling something. <laughs> I hate to sound cynical, but like, She's clearly selling something and she did it in the perfect way. So now anybody who is leftist or they think Tucker or Matt Walsh reminds them of their preachy dad, they're going to go, yeah, fuck them. I'm going to go to one of your shows, Chelsea. 
David Carpenter for five. Funny, I'm a childless man with a dog. I'm sad sometimes that I haven't had kids, but my annoyance with Handler's video is about my life choices, not hers. Yeah, and David, you know what? You're still, I mean, men do have it slightly easier where you don't hit a certain age and then you definitely can't have kids anymore. Like, I don't even know how old you are. It doesn't matter. But you probably, you know, if you really, really wanted to, you might still be able to have kids, right? You're a dude. You're a fucking dude. All right. It says everybody is responsible for their own choices. Christopher Gore, thanks for the super chat. I learned the term joy eater from Carrie Smith. That does sound like something she would say. And it really describes Chelsea and those like her. They literally hate people being happy. It's sick. Um, I think Chelsea hates being preached to. And as a former feminist myself, I, I remember it. Like, you couldn't tell me shit, you know? Like, I I embraced, um, like, bucking traditional expectations. Like, it's what it's what makes you feel like you're, you're cool and different, you know? Everybody wants to be cool and special and different. And for these women, for these feminists, th this is what makes them feel cool, special, different. So you're not going to shame them into wanting uh, the things that are the opposite of what makes them feel special. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say it's probably possible that she hates like Tucker and Matt Walsh and like all these conservative dudes. And I remember like she is selling, she is selling something. Apache, thanks for the super chat. If Chelsea didn't care, she wouldn't have made that cope TikTok. Commenting on it is to help younger women not fall for her lie. Yeah, I get it. I get that. That's why people are engaged about this right now. Because I think the percentage of women who can be very fulfilled and happy, like Chelsea, is very small. And there's probably a larger percentage of women who feel fulfilled and happy by having children. And to let that small minority of people convince the larger majority of people that to go their way, it's like, it's unfortunate. But you can't stop people from uh, following who they want to follow, right? Like, we all have to make our own mistakes. So at the end of the day, like, what, what does it really come down to? You're not going to preach to strangers on the internet. I think if there's a young woman in your life, like a niece um, or a daughter that's in this age group, right? She's probably the only one you can have an effect over and give advice to. Or if someone comes to you for advice, sure. But... You can't give people advice who are not looking for advice. Why do we care if Chelsea Handler is truly happy or not? You know why? I think because we want to be able to prove that like her way of life is not the way to happiness. So we like we people pick apart everything she does and says like, see, look, she's not happy. We're right. She's wrong. She's look, she's miserable. Like she might not be miserable. And I think like, uh, it's like, you'd, we'd rather be right than really observe what's going on. And again, like she's got tons and tons of cash. It's, she's probably not feeling, uh, like resentful or regretful yet. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.